Welcome back trainers. So we are going to be taking a look at a few Kyogre catches here. Not going to do the raid, just going to jump right into the catches. So this is my catch rate here, 20, scene 20, caught 11. Not too bad, a little bit over 50%. I'm having a hard time with this thing, seriously. I'm just missing it, under throwing, over throwing. I can't hit the circle. See, look at that. Uh, I mean, uh, half the time I am in a car and I am um, a passenger. And I'm trying to catch it as the car is moving because we're trying to go from raid to raid. So, I mean, not trying to make any excuses. Not even close because when the car is still, I'm still doing that kind of uh, throw. So, I'm going to kind of go unedited here. Just let them play through so you can see how I'm struggling just like the rest of us to catch these. Uh, it is, in fact, a very good Pokemon. You do want this. Uh, obviously, you want it, right? Anyways, despite being it good or not. Uh, it's a legendary, you want to get it, you want to get the best IV one just to have a trophy there. Or maybe you're trying to power it up. I also have explained this before too, when I go into the AR mode that's trying to uh, even it out so it's back to the middle of the screen. And uh, I had a few people say in the comments that why is it just a blank screen when I go into AR? Are you trying to hide something? And no, I'm not. My camera broke and the glasses like shattered all in the, in the camera there. And it don't want to mess with it at the moment so I just put a piece of duct tape over it and that's why you see blank screen whenever I go into AR all right so with that cleared up uh, there you go that is my best one right now that is it right there and this is the one everybody ladies and gentlemen that is going to get powered up and I know there's somebody out there who's pulling their hair like don't do it wait for a better one well I I can't wait any longer I'm going to be powering this up very soon I'm not going to tell you when, just going to expect it when it comes. Now, I do have an EX raid tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this, probably later today. Uh, so, uh, look out for that. That is going to be pretty exciting. Uh, this will be, in fact, my Mewtwo number six. I will have a full party. Now, this was a weird one. I got kicked out. It had a few minutes left on the thing, so I hopped back in. Thank goodness I was able to still do that. All right. And, uh... I didn't throw a ball. I buried it. Did you see when I buried it? And then it said error. I was talking in the car. See, this is what's going on. I'm not even paying full attention here. And I didn't realize that the berry didn't, uh, you know, stay. So I, I wouldn't even have thought of throwing that ball if I didn't know the golden berry was on it. But look what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. And we also are going to be taking a look at a critical catch coming up here in just a second. So that was pretty nice because I was throwing so horribly. I was just like, oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. I, come on. <laughs> I can't hit this thing for, for Jack. And then all of a sudden, critical catch. Well, I was hitting it all right. I just, I feel like, yeah, you know, you know what it is. This is one of the hardest legendaries here. So yeah, critical catch on that. Pretty nice. Uh, yeah, and I have a few projects I'm going to be doing with Groudon and Kyogre um, when... I maxed this out so look forward to that it's gonna be pretty exciting um, yeah so the one that you seen back there is the one in fact that I'm going to be powering up yes I could wait and there was a critical catch bingo bingo very nice first time that's happened uh, it's like man you really want that critical catch to happen for this one here I seriously you you seen the me uh, catching Groudon I was hitting excellent after excellent after excellent had it down and had it down quick too it wasn't so tough but with this one it's just that position where it is on the screen the circle how far back it's just like man every little variable is just annoying <laughs> not so annoying it's like I could say challenging right alrighty so with that said keep an eye out for some exciting videos tomorrow everybody and sorry I haven't been doing so much commentary it's just I've been on my grind and doing commentary videos and grinding hard and, and uh, I also have um, you know other things behind the scene you know family things and errands and you know life things that uh, catch up to me and you see how much videos I pump out two to three videos even four videos a day sometimes guys this is it's not like easy you know what I mean and I know a lot of you know this but some people out there actually are thinking in their brains that this is not hard <laughs> it's insane it's insane so yeah I'm busting my butt I'm completely exhausted I really am and as I speak right now I got a splitting headache 
So I, I really had to force myself to get on here and talk right now. That's why you haven't been seeing the commentary too much. It's just, um, I'm not burnt out. I just need to take um, a little rest. And I just had it. Those last two days, that was my rest. And that's it. There's no more. And I still was uploading, huh? I can't take a break. This is what it is. I have to stay on my grind and push and push and push. So with that said, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. And the commentary is going to be coming back gradually a little bit more uh, starting tomorrow. I was holding off because I knew I was going to power up you know who <laughs> and not a Mewtwo for uh, the coming video and I knew it was going to do pretty good so I was just holding off and, and, and saving myself for that but I was like alright I gotta talk to you guys tell you guys what's good because I know a lot of you out there like the commentary um, and when I throw out the gym battles or or uh, raids and there's no commentary I know you get a little bored with that but that's what this channel was, was birthed from almost not quite <laughs> but the Pokemon Go so that's still going to come in. But I understand you love the commentary. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to try to talk as much as I can for you guys. All right. So I'm going to catch you all later. Thank you for watching. And good luck out there with those Kyogres. If you need any tips, go back to my how to catch Kyogre. And then also really quick, I'll just tell you the AR thing. If you haven't seen that and you're wondering what in the heck is he doing? I'm pushing AR if it goes to either side of the screen. And it will center Kyogre right back to the middle. Okay. So that's what I'm doing there. I don't do it every single time because you can see it comes back. And by the time you feed it the berry, obviously you don't need to do it because it's centered itself back into the middle. So that's what I'm doing with the AR. And what you're going to do is just simply tap it once, then turn it back off. And then it should be right in the middle. If it keeps moving back to forth, I mean, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. So anyways, with that said, now take care, everybody. And I will be catching you all later.